you are addressing today uh, an an ecosystem or a community of many many young professionals who are have done many great things but will go on to do many great things as well some of them are from larger health organizations some of them represent health vc funds some of them work with wellness organizations uh, what is the role that you see you sort of delivering within this context of of building health of building partnership of doing more in in bilateral dialogues such as these and i want to you know sort of put a subtext to that professor reddy how do we do this in an atmosphere where at this point physical and virtual walls have been put up between countries we don't want people traveling we're looking more inward we're feeling insecure and uh, you know concerned about what may come in from another nation how do we build partnership in that environment well there are obviously physical barriers for travel and for physical meetings and the big conferences will now have to become virtual yes, and even the shops and uh, Ah, even uh, today is an example, but I think as far as earnest collaboration is concerned, this should not be a barrier, because currently our information technology provides us a great opportunity for consultation, and even the feeling of being together is being recreated with the information technology. It's not just email, and we can have a lot of animated discussion as well. So I think from that point of view. it is possible for us to overcome these barriers and still create that uh, climate of uh, consultation and uh, collaboration now obviously uh, you have said that uh, young people uh, need to play a great role and i fully agree with that because young people are innovative they are also risk taking uh, by way of pure neurophysiology and anatomy the young people's brain is much more plastic and also they have much greater synaptic pruning they assimilate a lot of new information but they're also risk taking it adolescence and young adulthood and that is a great recipe for creativity and innovation they are not still steeped in uh, conventional molds so i think that is where young people can actually break new ground but most important i think they also represent a spirit of global solidarity unfortunately when the virus has actually put us on the back foot in terms of physical distancing and uh, nations at the level of policy makers have retreated into cocoons of narrow nationalism or even vaccine nationalism for that matter young people are actually identifying themselves as a common global community and they see the future as belonging to them as one world so just as we talk about one health in terms of wildlife and veterinary population and human population for zoonotic diseases we are really looking at planetary health as one unifying factor and young people are going to be leading the world in the future so they now have to create those partnerships and actually foster them to have problem solving solutions for many of the challenges that unfortunately our generation has created for them so i think there is a great opportunity for this uh, pandemic uh, in order to catalyze a global trust to counter the global threats